It's Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got a candle review tonight. We are going to talk about the Kringle candle, country candle, pumpkin banana muffin. This is the one that I was so excited uh, to review and it does not disappoint. Oh my gosh. I actually lit this one up last night. Uh, I was sitting outside for a little while and um, enjoying a little pumpkin banana muffin and then I just lit it up again today. Oh my goodness, we got to talk about this one. So if you're just joining me, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which means if you use the code QUEENGEEKS, put the code below, uh, you get 15% off. Um, Kringle is also doing a Christmas in July, buy one, get one free. I don't know if you can use an ambassador code on the um, BOGO. If you can't, uh, you're still getting them for a good deal, but I'm not sure, but definitely check those out because there's some really nice Christmas candles in there that could be used um, also like for for fall. So lots of good stuff happening. Uh, Kringle Candle did send me the entire fall collection uh, to preview and review, and um, I am so excited, you guys. I'm just like going through these country candles because they are so Okay, so uh, the pumpkin banana muffin is pumpkin puree, mashed banana, and creamy butter are combined with cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and hints of lemon zest and coconut while drizzled with caramel to give you a delicious sweet treat. It is a sweet treat. Okay, so the top nuts are banana, lemon zest, apple, and butter, mid or pumpkin, coconut, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and the base is a vanilla caramel tonka bean. Uh, it's funny because I am getting a lot of caramel in this one. So what's weird is on cold, this one is like spot on fresh banana. I mean like a banana all through it. So you open up the lid, on cold, you're like, oh, this smells so good. I gotta get another one just to smell the banana. Um, however, burning, while the banana is in there, uh, the other notes start to come out, which is not a bad thing. Um, it's just a lot more of that banana note uh, just when you first open it. Because I know I was raving about the banana <laughs> the other day. I'm like, I love this banana smell. Um, but I like it. I like it a lot. And it does kind of mix a little bit. So I am getting... A decent amount of banana. It does kind of smell like the mashed banana. Like literally if you took a bunch of bananas, mashed them up in a bowl and smelled them, the fresh banana scent. Um, I'm getting the creamy butter a little bit. It doesn't really smell particularly like a muffin. Like like when you walk into the room, because I kind of like walked out, I walked in, I'm like, am I getting the muffin note? Do I smell a muffin? I don't think I'm getting a total like straight on muffin. I'm getting more of like a banana caramel fall like sweet treat is kind of what they're calling it. <laughs> I don't even know. Does it exist? I'm thinking like a banana um, caramel like dessert, but it doesn't have that like distinct drier muffin note to it, which is fine. I'm all good with that. Um, it smells amazing. Uh, but I'm getting a lot of the caramel, which is kind of neat. Um, lemon zest, coconut, mm, maybe a hint of like that citrus note that kind of like weaves through it a little bit. I'm not getting a lot of coconut though. Coconut is not like high on my list here. Vanilla, nutmeg, maybe a little. Uh, the one thing that I do like about this, so one of my girlfriends, actually uh, my friend DK who designed my Quinn and the Girl Geek shirt, um, it's not like cinnamon. It was funny because she was just over and she smelled like all my candles and she's like, nope, 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 nope. Don't like cinnamon. And I get that. A lot of people don't like cinnamon like at all. And she's one of those people. So, um, I kind of was thinking about her when I was actually reviewing this candle thinking, could she like this candle, even though the note in there is cinnamon and next time she's over, I'm going to ask her. Um, I think if you don't like cinnamon, you could like this candle, but I don't know because I'm not as discerning about cinnamon as some people. Like I'm like, bring on the cinnamon. So um, I can't tell if there's too much cinnamon in there if you don't like cinnamon. But to me, it's definitely on the light side. I'm getting more of like um, the banana, the caramel, um, you know, the, the pumpkin puree. I mean, that doesn't really like necessarily like have a scent. 
Um, it's all the other things that you put in the pumpkin that give it the pumpkin scent. Um, but I am getting like the butter and like the fall vibe going on, but it smells more like a dessert uh, than it does a muffin. As far as the throw, um, I'm going to call this like a 9.2. Uh, it got cooking last night really, really good. And I had it in the dining room. I could smell it like throughout my living room, dining room. And it was a, it was a wonderful, like gentle smell. I mean, it's not like um, sharp. It's not high powered. Um, it just smells like a wonderful, like sweet treat. <laughs> like I know did a good job calling it a sweet treat because it is a sweet treat. And I'm beyond thrilled uh, that they gave us a banana type of um, dessert for fall because uh, I love bananas, you know, in the fall, like when you mix them with the other stuff. So this is a win for me. I'm like totally on board. Um, it did not disappoint. Pumpkin banana muffin. I'm going to be burning this a lot this season. It is beautiful. I love the orange wax. Look at that. It's got like this like almost like fluorescent orange and it's beautiful. So anyway, uh, yay for this one. I can't wait to get to the rest of these. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to do next, you guys. I really want to do the churros and chocolate because I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure about that one. I can't decide. I like it cold, but um, I don't know. We're going to see if it has enough chocolate in, in it to like pass my chocolate test, uh, which I'm curious about. Uh, by the way, these are the 100% soy country candles. They switched over to the soy, which I think makes them a lot stronger. And um, the burn is absolutely wonderful. So anyway, don't forget to use the code QueenGeeks. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.